Mrs. and Mrs. London Love and organization because it truly is a blessing. You know, um, my testimony is a lot about identification. You know, as we go to different places, you truly need to have your identification straight to be identified of who you are. Because if you go to the Social Security office and that I, you got an I in your name and an A in your name and it's missing out your name, then they cannot identify exactly who you are. So in this evening, my testimony is about identifying who I am and who I belong to. And I'll say that, you know, I, I, I love this, what Miss Love does and Miss Irene, because I am a cancer champion survivor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, God is praying because I've had cancer four times. And I've had oral cancer, skin cancer, and I've had like um, 19 surgeries, so. Because if you go to the Social Security office and that I, you got an I in your name and an A in your name, and it's missing out your name, then they cannot identify exactly who you are. So in this evening, my testimony is about identifying who I am and who I belong to. And I'll say that, you know, I, I, I love this, what Miss Love does and Miss Irene, because I am a cancer champion survivor. Okay. Uh, and I, I say this to get God to pray because I've had cancer four times. And I've had oral cancer, skin cancer, and I've had like um, 19 surgeries, so I tell people walking and talking and doing different things, those are things that were seen to be the devil thought he had took away from me. That doctors told me you're not going to be able to talk, but I was still so as a man thinking, so is he. So when I thought in my mind that I could speak because they had damaged my vocal, God said to me, you still got joy. After all the things you've been through. So you on this evening have to remember no matter what you go through, you still got joy. And now, um, on my second, my third, my first time having lung cancer, um, the doctors came and said to me, now you know what, I didn't feel like nothing was wrong. I was still going on, doing what I do for the Lord. I was still directing the choir. I wasn't singing, but see, I knew that everything that God puts in you, He used it to give you and I, I make it available for him to get his glory. Hey, so, I felt pretty good. But then, you know, I came to my mom's house, she was crying, you gotta get to the doctor. So I get there, they tell me, well, you got 15 spots in one lung and 21 in the other. I said, uh, okay. So, as I get there, they decide we gotta go through this and we gotta go through that. And I kept saying, God did not put that in my spirit. That's not what God said to me. God said that I'm healed and holy in the name of God. And that's what you got to do. You got to see life over yourself, over your situation, and know that your circumstances and your situation do not decide who you are. But it's your perception of how you receive them that decides who you are. And so, as I was in the doctor's office, and I went, they put me in a room and I was laying in the bed and a nurse comes in and say, well, I need to take your blood. I'm like, okay, cool, do what you do. So as she was taking my blood, I said, wait a minute, I started to feel kind of dizzy. I started to feel lightheaded. And I said, wait a minute, something is not right. See, and that's sometimes how the devil, he will try to get in and creep in. And that's why you got a victim in the name of Jesus to him, get out. Get out, say you don't have no residence here. Get out. Because if you invite him in, I guarantee you he's gonna stay. He's gonna take up residence, he's gonna try to root himself in, and then he's gonna destroy from the top all the way to the bottom top up. So when I felt myself pass out, another nurse came and said, wait a minute, wait a minute, just stop. But as I passed out, this was God's good time. Because the next thing I know, I woke up and they said I had been asleep two hours. But even in that mist, I felt the Holy Spirit of God wrapping me up. You know how you wrap something up like you wrap a baby up? You wrap a baby up and wrap them up? I felt like God had wrapped me up and I felt myself being elevated, lifted up. So then I felt somebody tapping me. I look up and he said, we got to go to x-ray. He said, they getting ready to do surgery. I said, what? He said, they getting ready to do the biopsy. I said, oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. In the name of Jesus, God has healed me. He said, well, that's not what the test said. 
I said, okay, cool. So uh, they take me down in the machine, and this is how good God is, because God will show everybody. When I went there, the nurse of them was saying, okay, well, we don't want you to walk because of your situation. You might fall off. I said, okay. So they take me in the room, and they prepare me, and the doctor get ready to say, we're going to do this biopsy. He said, what we're going to do is, we're going to come in with a, they're going to come in like a big needle here, then there'll be another needle pushed in. He said, you're going to feel like somebody got kick you in the side with some creeps. And I said, wait a minute, I can't do that, but I got work to do for the Lord. God did not put that in my spirit. He told me, he said, well, you know what, if you believe, I believe. That's what the doctor who was doing this said. So they put me in the machine, and, and this is what they did. They, they took me and they tied me down, they tied my feet. They tied my side and my arms, but I still knew that I was wrapped up in Jesus. So, So they put me through the machine, and I said, one for the Father. They pulled me back up. He said, wait a minute. He put me in the machine again. I said, oh, thank you, Jesus, one for the Son. And then he said, wait a minute, let me go do something. He went and got another doctor and more nurses. He put me in the machine again, and I said, one for the Holy Ghost. Do you know, after that time, he came back and said, I don't see nothing. Whatever it is. So when they said, he said, there's no way you could have had lung cancer. He yes. said, after all them tests and blood work, what happened? I said, that's because I was wrapped up in that blood of Jesus. Yes. And see, you got to realize, when you wrapped up, you will be wrapped up like a baby, like a small baby. God will wrap you up in the loving arms of Jesus. And that will keep you through all the storms of life. And then it was so good that when they told me, what happened, they said, we're going to take you back. We gonna push you back. I said, "Oh, that's okay. I ain't gotta do it. That's cool." I walked back in there, jumping and shouting, saying, "Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus!" They said, "You all right? What happened?" I said, "That's God. Good time." So then I had to give God a praise. I had to give God a praise because I knew that all the things I had been through, that God never left me. And now, and this is the thing about what we're getting ready to do now is that when they was doing this, I knew. God always made it available for me to give stuff away to the community and do these different things. Amen. But I say, God, you know what you're doing. If you said it, God, then that's service it. So I realized because of who God is that we're covered in the blood of Jesus. Yeah. So we got to preach the blood of Jesus of our lives, for our yeah. situation. Yeah. Say, devil, you can't have, I like to say, you can't have my joy, you can't have my peace. Yeah. And you know, I'm going to end with this. As we go for everybody looking at the White House. And it dawned on me, I think about my grandmother, because my grandmother came from the Nopolis, Alabama, Katopia, Alabama, way back in the woods of Birmingham, Alabama. And you know, it dawned on me, I said, you know what, Lord, we are concerned about the White House. But if God delivered our ancestors from the outhouse, and then, you know what I'm saying, then God took them over to the main house. I said, then look at God, he gave us our own house. Lord, it's not, I don't know who in the White House because I know who's in control. So that today I said, give God his praise because guess what? I guarantee you, whatever you go through, if you trust God, he will be right there all the way. So thank you. Thank you, Sister Terrence, for that testimony. You can stay up here because I want to thank you. You've just been such a great inspiration to me. I love you, Sister Terrence. Hey, You're man. awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's given away um, a, a special gift tin. Is it one or two? Uh, two gift back, two gift boxes of hands. Okay, so she's given that away through your ministry, which is? Uh, uh, the, spiritual, the spiritual empowerment. I do a radio broadcast, but basically it's called spiritual empowerment in our community. Just doing whatever God allows, I'm going to do what I can do. Yeah, check her out. She's also one of our 1440 AM family members. Oh, yeah. Check her out on Fridays at 730. Yeah. And uh, we're going to pull our name from here. You want to do a cheers? <laughs> okay, you read the name. I'll hand it to you. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, praise God. This is Vanessa Street. All right. Oh, no. Okay, we'll make sure we get them to get there in the car stand cold.
London D. Harris Washington Trade Enrichment. The mission statement is to educate the community in theater, performing arts, music, vocal, while providing a place for local talent to shine as well as collaborate with other artists and institutions. Our other enriching courses of study include media arts, small business, mechanics, life skills, HVAC, health and wellness, event strategy. We aim to inspire and build stronger community identity by working together, encouraging qualifications for employment, careers, and entrepreneurial opportunities. Being able to obtain a stable livelihood of choice can enhance the quality of life as well as our communities. Curriculum includes media arts, video, sound, digital editing, theater and arts, acting, dance, singing, music and vocal, piano, keyboard, voice, business startup plus, DBA, corporation, etc., mechanics, car maintenance, HVAC, heating and cooling, life skills, core skills for personal management, plan, job, life, health and wellness, healthy eating and healthy cooking, special youth program, London Sophisticated Cafe, corporate etiquette training. This is an affiliate program. Workshops, selective subjects including black history. Instructors, Irene Washington, Business and Media Arts, London D. Washington, Media Arts and Drama and Business. Darlene Bell, Music and Vocal, Sylvia Ahmed, Mechanics, Vicki Cummings, Life Skills, Curtis Grant, Business, John D. Milburn, HVAC, Owner of J. Milburn Mechanical, Associated Instructors, Caleb Foster, Media Arts Owner of WJVC, 1320 AM, Yodeo Maycock, Health and Wellness, Jackie Duncan, Various Subjects, Michelle Felina, Event Coordinating, Barbara Cooper, Life Skills. Terrence Hurston, Cancer Survivor, Associated Lecturer for Health and Wellness and Life Skills. Operations, Renee Burright, Assisting in Administration. Our Youth Training Workshop, Six Weeks. Our youth learned courtesy skills, teamwork, public speaking, greeting and escorting, directing how to set a dinner table, how to serve food to the public, dressing uniform, and more, all corporate style. After the training session, London Sophisticated Cafe had a formal affair Friday, August 20th, 2016 at the International Institute of Detroit, Michigan. We acknowledge them for their work and commitment by Michigan State Politician Representative Sherry Gay Dagnogo who gave them all awards. Also, Detroit City Councilman George Cushingberry and ADI Entertainment. A great plus, our youth were paid at the end of the program. So this was a job for them as well. This workshop is ongoing. Classes include learning how to greet and direct the public, assisting the elderly or disabled guest, how to serve the public with courtesy and respect, teamwork, how to set a dinner table, how to serve food at a table, public speaking, how to verbally greet. Colonel John D. Milburn, Assistant Director of Youth Training, Cassandra Arnold, Youth Training Assistant, London D. Washington, Founder and Director of Youth Training. Michelle Felina, London D. Harris Washington, Trade Enrichment. Selective subjects include Black History, Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass, Martin Luther King Jr., President Barack Obama II, Paul Robeson, Black Bottom, Della Reese, Duke Ellington, Aretha Franklin, Al Allen, Fox 2 News, Colonel John D. Milburn, Wynton Marsalis, Beyonce, Hidden Figures, ADI Actors in Entertainment and Enterprise Group, Reverend James W. G. Harris Sr., World War II, Bishop James and Annie Harris Sr., Maddie Foreman, London's Grandmother, Her Mother's Mother, Temptation VIP, The Film Made in Detroit, Caleb Foster, London. ADI Actors and Entertainment Club and Enterprise Group. We act in film, television, and plays. Temptation VIP, the film, premiered in November 2013. Secrets in the Closet premiered December 2016 and 2017. The place called The Church and Relationship Symposium underway. London D. Harris Washington Trade Enrichment. Founder, London Doris E. Harris Washington. 
She's been working in the community and business for almost three decades and is, has a nonprofit 501c3 organization. Her career is in business and mass media since 1990, professional vocalist and musically inclined since childhood, associate degree at WC3D, studied mass communication two and a half years at Wayne State University and continuing trade and works in the medical field, ordained in ministry for 23 years. London D. Harris, Washington Trade Enrichment Advisory Team. John D. Milburn, HVAC, owner of J. Milburn Mechanical. Jacqueline Duncan, professor at WCCCD. Michelle Felina, professional event coordinator. Irene in Washington, co-owner of CBiz TV. Caleb Foster, owner of WCVG, 1320 AM. Bishop James and Annie Harris Sr., Community Choir, Associated, Extracurricular, Darlene Bell, Music and Vocal, Recording Artist, London, Music, Vocal, Recording Artist, Producer, Sarah Riddle, Vocal, Recording Artist, James Hawkins, Music, Vocal. Portions of funds will be forwarded to pay our instructors and staff. Also, a portion will be forwarded to London's Love, Care and Share, Cancer, MS, and Major Diseases Support Group. Thank you for viewing this information concerning London D. Harris Washington Trade Enrichment. We are accepting financial donations and endorsements. You can see more information and history of the many affiliated projects and programs. Website www.americasd. London D. Harris Washington Trade Enrichment. The mission statement is to educate the community in theater, performing arts, music, vocal, while providing a place for local talent to shine as well as collaborate with other artists and institutions. Our other enriching courses of study include MediaTVEntertainment.com or ADI Entertainment. You can call us to donate or inquire or donate online at link ADI. Tax exempt. You can also see some of our television dramas at our YouTube channel at London Washington or see all of our shows at YouTube.com. Follow the channel link below. Email LondonDoris at gmail.com. Contact 248-7010885. Currently, our class locations include International Institute of our own facility. Thank you. Share your feedback by emailing cbiztv at yahoo.com. So don't miss Sister to Sister on youtube.com slash shebiztv. That's youtube.com slash shebiztv. Check us out.
sister on youtube.com slash shebiztv. Listen to Reed and C share their perspective on topics like five rules of dating and love and the Bible, plus more. Also, you can share your feedback by emailing cbiztv at yahoo.com. So don't miss Sister to Sister on YouTube.com slash SheBizTV. That's YouTube.com slash SheBizTV. Check us out.